anomalous propagation it is possible for a layer of warm air to occur above a layer of cool air in the atmosphere which is contrary to the normal temperature gradient this is called temperature inversion the resultant change in the index of refraction may cause signals to follow the curvature of the earth the phenomena is called super refraction or anomalous propagation and the signals travel in apparent ducts for tremendous distances far beyond the radar horizon effect on radar display the visible effects of anomalous propagation on the radar display are the targets within the visible range of the radar set which cannot usually be seen due to their being below the vertical polar diagram can be clearly seen at their correct bearing and distance however targets which should not be visible due to being beyond the normal range of coverage can be seen at their correct bearings but at false distances remember bearings will be same but at false distances when the target is beyond the normal range of coverage radar coverage diagram is a general indication of the performance of a specific radar system it will indicate the limits within which radar system may be used the performance of a radar system depends upon factors inherent in radar design or the factor which are dependent upon the environment of radar system factors inherent in radar design are transmitted power aerial power and receiver power factors which are dependent upon the environment of radar system include ground effects echoing area of aircraft and refraction in the atmosphere manufacturers of ats radar systems summarize the anticipated performance of their radar system by way of a vertical coverage diagrams radar coverage diagram atc surveillance radar system employ a vertical radiation pattern that the coverage diagram has to observe all aircraft at all ranges up to the same height this type of a vertical radiation pattern is called cossack square radiation pattern an important property of vertical radiation pattern or cossack square radiation pattern is that the signal strength of an echo received from a target of constant cross section at constant height is independent of the range of the target actual coverage diagrams the actual performance of radar system which is located at a site will not be quite the same as a vertical coverage diagram because of difference in local terrain like hills valleys high rise building it is therefore necessary to assess the usable coverage of the radar equipment at each site this is done by flying an aircraft on a series of predetermined tracks at various heights and plotting the strength of radar return at each sweep of aerial from this flight check an actual coverage diagram on distance from radar and height coordinates is prepared this information determines the extent to which radar equipment can be used in next video we will cover types of radar there are two different types of radar in use for air traffic service primary radar secondary radar